Hello, my name is Dr Jack Noon. I'm a research fellow at the Centre for Social Impact, University of New South Wales. This is the first of three videos to show you how to use a collaboration health assessment tool. In this first video, I'll show you how to set up the survey. In the second video, we'll show you how to complete the survey. And then finally, we'll look at how you uh, view the results. So this is the first page that you're taken to when you go to chat.csi.edu.au and the first thing you'll notice is that there's three options for how you register to use chat. The first option that's selected there at the moment is for people that are acting as a collaboration lead or the representative. So you use this option when you want to create a survey and send it out to other people to answer so that you can assess how well that you're working together. The second option you use this if you've been invited to take the survey by the collaboration lead or the representative. And finally for a one-off chat survey, this is if you just want to take the survey yourself, you don't want to share it with anybody else, you just want to um, create some kind of assessment about how well you think your collaboration is working together. Um, for today though, or for this first session, we're going to be the collaboration lead, so I want to show you how to set up the survey for the first time. You'll also notice that we have a frequently asked questions section and also an about section which um, will take you to a report that we wrote on um, how we developed the collaboration health assessment tool so you can get more information there. Anyway let's register, put in my email address, that's handy, and my password, you'll have to guess what that is. And of course my organisation is University of New South Wales. So I can register. There we go. Just had to put in my email again to confirm. Okay. So this is us registering for the first time and can we see that of course there's no open surveys. So the first thing I want to do as a collaboration lead or representative is to set up my survey. And the first thing I need to do is of course to give it a name. I'm just going to use the example that we have here, but it would just be the name of your collaboration. The next part is to set the parameters for the date around the survey. So the start date, let's just put it for today, 1st of November. And then the survey end date, let's put it for, say, two weeks' time from now. It's really over to you how long you want the survey to be open for, um, but you know, two weeks is a standard amount of time. Yes, we'll make it active. I'm not going to click share results at this point. Um, this feature is, allows you to uh, share the results with the rest of your collaboration, but we suggest that you only turn this feature on after the survey is finished. And this is really to um, prevent previous responses to the survey affecting other people who are about to take the survey. So you can just click share results after the survey is finished. And of course as you can see in the text below, uh, you need at least five people to be taking part in the survey before you'll see the results. And that's just to uh, protect people's privacy uh, and confidentiality. Okay, so of course you can come back to this later on. So I'll click create survey and we can see it there and we can edit it here later or of course we can just go straight over here. So the next step is to set up the groups that work within your collaboration. Now it's really up to you how you use this feature. It might be that your collaboration just functions as one group or your collaboration may have different groups working within it. For instance you may have various working groups out in the community. You might have a leadership group or you might have a, a backbone or an infrastructure group. Um, so for the purposes of today, we'll just say that we have um, a working group, I'll we'll just call it working group 1, add that to the mix, working group 2, and then another one, and I'll just call them infrastructure. So this is like our backbone or the coordinating body. So we've got three groups. Now, as with uh, the last slide, in order to see the different scores for each of these different groups, we need to have at least five people responding within those groups. You'll still get an overall score, but in order to break it down, the collaboration scores or the health of the collaboration according to the different working groups, you need to have at least five people in each group. Okay, the next step is to set up the goals for the collaboration. Now, what this feature does is it 
auto populates the goals that you set up into the survey that your collaboration partners will uh, fill out and this allows them to rank which goals they see as most versus least important. So if you look at that across the whole collaboration we can get an understanding of how well aligned your collaboration is on your goals. So this is where you enter what, what the specific goals are for your collaboration. I'm just going to put goal one but it might be something like to improve educational opportunities for a particular group, for instance, or it might be to create stronger networks between service providers. Let's just stay with this though. You want to have at least three goals, I think, perhaps more, because it'll give you a better idea on alignment. So let's, let's put four goals in. Okay. There's a little bit of information down here which um, gives you some um, insights into creating um, the right, well, not the right kind of goals, but to word your goals in a way that makes it easier for people to rank them according to how um, important they perceive them to be. Alright, the next step is to invite our collaborators. So these are the people that we want to take the survey. Um, we One of our features is to allow you to customise the invitation that gets sent out by email. We've provided a bit of an example here, which I will just copy and paste over. And you can put your signature at the bottom here. Yeah. Easy, actually. That's better. Just click on update. Now, you can also preview to see what this invitation will actually look like. Um, so there's that first line. And then we provide some information, a little bit of information about how the um, chat was developed and how it works. Um, and also our, our vision, our research vision, is to be able to use uh, your chat responses to be able to know more about collaboration at the population level. But we'll look more at that later. So that's what the invitation will look like. So you can have a little look to make sure you're happy. Looks fine to me. The next step is to invite um, other people to take the collaboration health assessment tool. And this is where we put in uh, email addresses. So let's just put the help desk one. And I'll just put in a couple of mock ones. There we go. Okay, so you can also cut and paste these from your Outlook um, contacts as well. You just have to make sure that you have one email on each line and that there's no gaps between, or no spaces at the end, and no spaces at the beginning. And I can just go invite. Am I ready to send invitations? Yes, I am. I've seen the preview invitation and I'm really happy to go. So let's click like that. And then we can see that the email has been sent out to these people. Now to protect people's privacy you can't see who has responded and who hasn't so you might want to resend invitations to people but you'd have to do these individually um, maybe after one week or two or three days before your survey closes. But at this point in time the invitation has been sent out to these users and of course you'd need more than five to be able to see the results of the survey um, and in fact the more people you email this to in your collaboration the better idea you'll have about how well your collaboration is doing. So that's the end of part one. It's as simple as that to um, send out the chat survey. So in our next video we'll look at how we would complete the survey.